Today I'm going to show you how to get creative with natural light using a simple and inexpensive DIY tool for a beautiful rainbow effect. Lindsay Adler here. If you know my work, you know that I love creative lighting. But a lot of times people associate that with studio lighting. And guess what? You can get just as creative on location and you can get creative using natural light. So that's what I want to share with you today. So taking a look at this image, this image fits my style, it's clean, it's creative, but it's created with all natural light and really inexpensive tools. So I wanna take you behind the scenes so you can see exactly how it was done. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is this tool. This is a rainbow sun catcher. I bought it on Amazon, really inexpensive. Um, and I think fundamentally what people use it for is they hang it in their windows so they can have some beautiful rainbow light across their floor. But here we're going to use it for creativity. Now I do wanna give a shout out. Recently I was on a commercial job with a great filmmaker, John Sams. And the theme of our shoot involved rainbows and he actually brought out this sun catcher. So this inspiration is completely from him and I wanna share it with you guys. So uh, taking a look at this, there's a couple things you might notice in this scene. Do you see how the sunlight is hitting the sun catcher, but our subject is in shadow? There's a very important reason for this. If our subject is hit by the sun, what happens is all that beautiful color is actually washed out. It nearly disappears. So there's several considerations for the lighting, even though it is natural lighting. So let's actually peek behind the scenes to a wider shot. So you can see all the elements and how they work together. Um, I've got a lot of helping hands on the set, totally not necessary. I just, I often have a bunch of people on set, whether they're interns or maybe an assistant or hair and makeup, uh, but you could do this completely by yourself. So let me show you what's going on here. First and foremost, you see my assistant holding the little sun catcher, casting the rainbows on my subject. As you move it around, as you move it in and out closer to the subject, the effect changes, so be sure to experiment. The next thing that you'll see is that directly behind my subject is a V-flat. This is not doing anything to the lighting, it's just giving me a clean white background. So totally not necessarily, just a creative choice. Next up, the shadow above my subject head. This is a white piece of foam core. It's not reflecting light, it's not doing anything, but it is giving the little bit of dark area on my subject so that the rainbow can look more saturated. Once again, it's important to have the direct sunlight on that sun catcher. Without it on a cloudy day, this effect wouldn't work. So really the key elements are the sun catcher, some shadow over the subject, and the direct sunlight. That's all you need. But let's take a look at the camera gear that I'm using in this case. I'm shooting with a Canon EOS R. I usually choose my mirrorless camera when I go out on location because in this case, I'm shooting with an 85 millimeter at 2.0. With those wide apertures, I use my face and eye tracking so I can shoot really wide but still have nice sharp focus on the eyes. You'll also see that I'm shooting a little bit of a faster shutter speed, but it's not really, really fast because the subject is a little bit in the shade. So let me show you what it looked like when I captured it. So this is the image straight out of camera, no adjustments. And do you see why I put the white V-flat behind? It just, it makes it a little bit cleaner. I thought that if there was something darker or maybe something of a weird color or texture, I didn't think it would make the rainbow shine as much. I don't think the colors would, would really glow quite as much. It'd be a little bit distracting. So I use the white V-flat to make it a little bit cleaner. Next up, I took the card back to the studio, downloaded it, and I brought the images into Capture One and did a little bit of processing on them. And I decided that the overall shot looked a tiny bit washed out, so I darkened it down, but it's pretty minimal, really not much change. But I think the areas that needed cleaning up the most was a little bit around the eyes, there's a few blemishes on the forehead, and then a stray hair. Really just needed minimal changes. So for that, I brought it over into Photoshop, and this cleaned everything up. You'll also notice that I saturated the colors of the rainbow just a little bit, since that is the entire purpose of the photo. I wanted to show off those colors. I love this image because it still feels like my style, it's creative, but it was all achieved with natural light. So if you're not a studio shooter and you think you can't experiment with lighting, well, think again, and you can also do it for very, very inexpensive. If you would like to see the gear used in this video, be sure to check the description in the links below, and of course, visit adorama.com. Now, if you wanna see more videos like this, with everything ranging from natural light to posing to studio lighting to creativity, be sure to subscribe. See you next time.